we use string crossing technique to talk about playing two notes that aren't on strings that are directly next to each other. So when we have large leaps, sometimes the strings in the middle or the string that we just finished playing will start ringing and cause unnecessary sound when we just want to be hearing the note that we're playing now. So we can practice this by playing the strings that aren't next to each other. We can play different patterns and different combinations and practice stopping or deadening the strings that aren't playing. We can do that by resting fingers on the string, either with our right hand, just pressing your fingers on them so they stop ringing, or you can do it with the left hand. In this case, I'm using the index finger that I just used to play the first note to stop the strings by just pressing lightly on the edge of the string and not pressing it down to make an actual note. You can do that by practicing any exercise you want. You can even practice a scale, like the notes in A flat scale. Once you practice it at a slow tempo, it'll come in a faster pace without having to think about it and you will be able to execute faster passages with more ease and more clarity.